Okay, let's do another watercolor since the paint's out. Got this glare coming across. Oh, just open the window. That's kind of cool. So that's actually, this is called sunlight. And usually if I want to see this, I Google it. Because um, I don't usually go out in the sun because it's sun. And uh, stuff like fresh air, sunshine, natural ingredients, they don't do well. You know, if I want good ingredients, a chocolate, you know, if I want to be hydrated, I drink Coca-Cola um, or coffee. And uh, sunshine, it's something I've read about. But it's there. It was right there. Now it's kind of gone away. It's an overcast day, which is a perfect day for painting. Artists love that nice you know, misty kind of overcast day where you can just kind of relax and paint. We're going to do a beach scene. What do we got compositionally? It looks like an S shape. You know, it's kind of this S looking thing. This is an overcast day. It's probably not a shadow, not a lot of shadows. We can add some. We can kind of have a break in the clouds off stage if we want. You know, we can uh, throw some light down, which might be kind of fun. We got this foreground here. This is an escalator, so we got that. And this kind of a negative space, kind of an elevator. So we're gonna go escalator, elevator, S-shape composition. All of it's in our videos. Um, does a beach have scientific trajectory distribution systems? Yes, that's why I go on cruises. The cruise ship, when you're looking, they're everywhere. STDs are everywhere on a cruise ship and um, it's really fun you know to sit, sit with your sketchbook and watch my favorite thing to do is to just study the water so you know as the water comes up you know the ocean comes up that's an std so that's a trajectory distribution the energy goes up and then it comes down you see so then the next one will come up and then it'll go down so every time that wave you know, goes up, that's a trajectory. So you're constantly adjusting those trajectories in your work or your animation. So it's something you gotta be careful, you know, really gotta focus on. So I like to just sit and study the water and then I videotape it. And then when I come home, you know, if you're looking at the water, you're usually looking at it from indoors because if it was outdoors, it'd be sunshine and you can't have sunshine. So usually I'm like under, I'm like the only one under 80 that's sitting in the, you know, under the um, awning of the ship. And then what happens is I'm watching it through the glass because if you're upstairs, then it's windy and it's sunshine and you can't have that. So generally I'm sitting there. So what I do is I, I videotape it and then I put it on one of my monitors. So while I'm working, I'm actually on a cruise ship. Pretty cool, huh? So you've got that energy of the trajectory. So it kind of distribution, it's distributing energy coming up and then it comes down. It's gotta be a system so that we can, you know, use it a lot. Um, when you add the people around and you're drawing everybody in their native way on the ship, which is eating, um, there's a tremendous amount of uh, STDs. So you're never without that energy and trajectory. But in this situation, so the question is, is there scientific trajectory distribution systems on a cruise ship? Yes. Is it in the ocean? Yes. And this is a picture I took. It was an overcast day, so I was allowed to be there. And this is the beach. Okay, I'm going to put on some music and um, paint. And you should paint also. And because I have unlimited amount of time with what Corey set up for me, uh, life is good. Okay, let's paint and let's have some fun. A little Bruce Springsteen will work.
I'm gonna kill the green. So I got green, I'm gonna add purple to it. It's just gonna kill it. But it's still gonna be green. And I'll use that in the foreground there. So, so we have that. So it's going to go like that, bring the eye in. Now it'll pure green line. So when you're doing watercolor, never give up an opportunity to dip your brush into something wet. So this is still wet. And on, you know, these days when it's, you know, rainy outside, it stays wet longer. So lots of opportunity here. And that's a water mask. all the different colors you can mix and values in there. I got that.
Okay, so we got that. Now your everything's gonna be kind of gray because it's you know it's an overcast day. So even your blues, everything's gonna be gray down. We use a lot of negative space. You're working with negative space. If you don't know what negative space is, just get the videos. Also on New Masters, we cover that a lot. So that's pushing, you see, that's a trajectory. Now this texture here will, will cause the eye to go in that direction there. Let's get rid of some of those shadows.
Now this area here is darker because it's getting a lot of water. So we'll darken that. Still a really muted color. We'll use texture to guide the eye. That's the trajectory. So it's all pushing this way and then the, the bushes will go there and bring it back.
Let's go really dark in the foreground. That's amazing technology. I'm doing a video for you guys while texting Russia. Isn't that incredible? Opportunity, everybody. Just go out there. The world is flat. All people are the same. Just do it. So, working with Russia, doing a great, doing a movie and demoing for you and responding to a text from an area again. See, it's really fun. Okay, so this is gonna, I like dark in the foreground. Yeah, I like my new setup because I can still have my phone. Okay, so we got that. Darks. Put a little surfers in the water, maybe. All right, so now we're back here. It's a real simple painting.
anytime you cross a, a horizontal with a vertical or a diagonal, you're going to get energy. So this is going to give energy. So that's going to direct the eye right there. So again, that's a trajectory. It's, it dominates the the energy. So it's an STD. So there you go, it's a trajectory distribution system right there. See, pull it around. Now let's have some fun with the sky. Again, it's very gray. It's a green painting, so we'll key it. Add some muddy to it. But it's still, we can add some areas where the clouds will open up. So we remember we had that S, so we're going to go like that. So that's our S, see. Little clouds in the background, negative space, that'd be kind of cool. Just do that. But it's cool when you're on a cruise, you can look off in the distance and see the rain. So I have that there. I'm going to throw some warm off in the background, pull the eye. There we go. A little dark in the foreground here. 
push the eye like that. Okay, that's good enough. So it's all the same. Let's do a figure drawing next.